When they kill yourself, imagine this. You come home from school one day. You've had yet another horrible day. You're just ready to give up, so you go to your room, close the door, and think out that suicide note you've written and written over and over and over. You take out those razor blades and cut it for the very last time. You grab up all the pills and take them all. Lying down, holding the letter to your chest, you close your eyes for the very last time. A few hours later, your little brother knocks on your door to come and tell you dinner's ready. You don't answer, so he walks in. All he sees is you, is you laying on your bed. So he thinks you're asleep. He tells your mom this. Your mom goes to your room to wake you up. She notices, she notices something odd. She grabs the paper in your hand and reads it. Sobbing, she tries to wake you up. She's screaming your name. Your brother's so confused. He wants to go to her daddy that Mommy is crying and says she won't wake up. Your dad wants to your room. He looks at your mom, crying. Holding the letter to her chest. Sitting next to your lifeless body, it hits him. What's going on? And he screams. He screams and throws something at the wall. And then, falling to his knees, he starts to cry. Your mom calls over to him and sits there, holding each other, holding each other crying. The next day in school, there was an announcement. The principal tells everyone about your suicide. It takes a few seconds for it to sink in. And once it does... Everyone goes silent. Everyone blames himself. Your teachers think they were too hard on you. Those me popular girls, they think of all the things they said to you. That boy that used to tease you and call you names, he can't help but hate, hate himself. We're never telling you how beautiful you really are. Your ex-boyfriend, the one that you told everything to, that broke up with you, he can't handle it. He breaks down and starts, to, and starts crying and runs out of your school. Your friends? They're sobbing too, wondering how they could never see that anything was wrong. We think they could have helped you before it was too late. And your best friend? She's in shock. She can't believe it. She knew what she was going through, but she never thought it would get that bad. Bad enough for you to end it. She can't, she can't cry. She can't feel anything. She stands up, walks out of the classroom, and just sinks to the floor, shaking and screaming, but no tears coming out. It's a few days later at your funeral. The whole town came. Everyone knew you. That girl with the bright smile and bubbly personality. The one that was always there for them, the soldier to cry on. Lots of people talk about the good memories they had with you. They were not. Everyone's crying. Your little brother still doesn't know you killed yourself. He, he is too young. Your parents just said you died. It hurts him a lot. You were his big sister. You were supposed to always be there for him. Your best friend, she stayed strong through the entire service. But as soon as they start lowering your casket into the ground, she just loses it. She cries and cries and doesn't stop for days. It's two years later. Your teachers all quit their jobs. Those mean girls have eating disorders now. The boy that used to tease you cuts himself. The, your ex-boyfriend doesn't know how to love anymore, so he just plays with every girl. Your friends all go into depression. Your best friend? She tried to kill herself. She didn't, she didn't succeed like you do, but she tried. Your brother? If I find out the truth about your death, he self-harms. He cries at night. He does exactly what you did for years leading up to your suicide. Your parents, the military apart, your dad became a workaholic to distract himself from your death. Your mom got now you know with a person and just lays in bed all day. People kill, you might not think so, but they do. Your choices don't just affect you, they affect everyone. Don't end your life, you have so much to live for. Things can't get better if you give up. I'm, I'm here for absolutely anyone that needs to talk, no matter who you are. Even if we never talked before, I'm here for you. If anyone out there feels this way, please call 1-800-273-1255. That is 1-800-273-8255. Thanks for listening.